What's good guys? This is Carlos the Colombian guy. Welcome to my YouTube channel once again fellas and guys I would like to bring you more updates more more and more about Medellin Colombia fellas and the government already say they say that the two Americans that were captured in the recent days they already sent into prison they already in jail they had to pay because they're responsible of abusing minors fellas this is the situation with these two Americans I don't know how they're gonna do over there I just hope you know they can enjoy about this nice Airbnb that they're heading to and about you know these fire star hotels that they're gonna be for the next few years you know what I mean and let me read the history to you guys so I also you know gonna share what I think about all this situation and you know give my opinion about this so fellas let me read the history because it's a lot so hey I do my best because you know if it's your first time watching me let me just tell you hey Spanish is my native language but you know I'm trying to do my best so both will be detained in a Colombian prison waiting for the judicial situation to be defined to be defined as they are accused of abusing a lease a lease of a dozen minors on their um, 15 year 15 years of age two American citizens captured in the recent day for crimes re related to minors to abuse of minors in Medellin were sent to a Colombian prisons whom a uh, defendant will contact through social network and later take them to the properties that they rented for their stay and hold Paris those, those prosecutors for these events are Richard Richard Vincent Polanski Polanski 40 years old, who uh, was known by the alias El Chimico, and Dominic at the Vicenzo, 40 years old, both tourists with constant visits to the uh, city of Medellin uh, to abuse men of age, offering them money, drugs, money and drugs, and even intimidating Polanski, capture occur, occur inside uh, an apartment in the Obrero neighborhood of Bayo, where he had rented property since 2021, where he lived and where he came to the city and held custom properties with the presence of minors to whom uh, he will supply narcotics that he manufactured by himself, which uh, is why he earned alias El Chimico. It's like, chemi like chemicals in Spanish. So, um, when they detain him inside of the apartment, which is the minors would access after uh, they had thrown the keys and then to avoid the suspicion they found a, four, a 15 years old girl to whom, he, to, to whom they had supplied amphetamines and narcotic substances. According to the immigration Colombia between 2019 and 2024, there were 65 entries to the Medellin throw the Jose Maria Cordova April in Rio Negro. Coming to find out they captured a chemical in Bejo and the American accused of sexually, sexually abusing of six minors in Antioquia during the capture of this foreigner on February 25 by the National Police of Colombia Amphetamines and 2.3 grams of 2CB were saved, which is why the addition, the, the addition to answer for the sexual abuse against six minors on their 18 years old of age. So, and supply to minors, he moves. He must also do for uh, possession and trafficking narcotics uh, as for uh, Dominic Abicenso, who is accused of being one of the most dangerous sexual abusers from the United States. Wow. So he's even like, he's even known in the States to be like a sexual abuser. And then he come to Colombia to do the same shit. Like, hey, my mom always been telling me, hey, people never change. People will never change like they will, they might change for one or two weeks, but one or two weeks and then they get back to the same again. So this is a proof that people never change. That's what I don't believe in, you know, people change. Sometimes some people change, but you know, apparently the, this guy, he didn't. So Daniel Rosario abuser from the United States, he was also prosecutor for the crimes of access and abuse, sexual, and, abu and abuses, sexual, and and with inability to resist demand for commercial sexual exploitation with a minor of 18 years old, tests and supply to minors the capture of this man born in the state of Illinois 
happened in the top floor of a building in La Floresta Park on February 26, where the authorities arrived after multiple complaints from neighbors about the parties held due to due to the constant entry of minors under 18 years old, uh, under on under uh, 18 years old of age to the property. According to the prosecutor's office through the Center for the Comprehensive Care of Victims of Sexual Abuse, between January and March 23, the foreigner who had to organize a on in his home to which uh, he, he invited Mino to supply them with liquor and narcotic systems. Later, he apparently offered them give money, give for money in chance for sex. I told the investigation where he carried out um, the offer mentioned a period when the rest when the rest occurred they found a mino on the under sixteen years under sixty years of age who was reportedly who was report, reportedly uh submitting of these crimes was placed at the, at the disposal of the Colombian Institute of Family Welfare. They are they did are they did are currently a investigation from this crime against him after he concentrated hearings. No one of these foreign tourists agreed to the charges brought before the judge. So they the judicial process continue. Will they remain held on the prison of the Colombian penitentiary system? Read also. Uh, the these are two of the thirteen foreigners who have been who have been captured for abusing minors on the. On the 18 years old, on the 18, on the 18 years of age in Medellin since 2019, after an investigation carried out jointly by the prosecutor office, the director of protection and special service DPRO, and the national police, the the office of national security investigation, H H A S H S I International, and the N G O. Libertad International Entities that are coordinated to attack criminal tourism in Medellin, fellas. Hey, before I continue with this, before I give my opinion, let me drink. <clears throat> it's a lemonade I made by myself. Um, fellas, what, I, what, what do I think about this situation? Hey, man, never put yourself in a situation like this. There is so many beautiful and amazing women in Colombia that they would be willing to do a lot of stuff for you, you know, especially if you get, you know, so you don't have to look out for minors or stuff like that because that's not cool. This, if that's it, if they would be captured on my hood, their situation would be another history, would be another one because I know, like, uh, they might hook him, they might, they would have. He he then to death or something, you know, thank God it didn't happen over there. So yeah. Hey, never, never put yourself because when you went now like they go to this Airbnb, nice Airbnb, you know, this fire star hotel, they will know like like the prisoners we will tease them like we we tease them like hey you don't you never touch you will never touch a minor again. Like my uncle, he was he was in prison, and he told me like, hey, nephew, you know, like when I was in prison, you know, like hey, like people that they trade words, you know, is this the one that they messing, you know, with the, with the um, minors, you know, with the women and stuff like that. So like it doesn't make a sense. I don't well, I don't you know it doesn't make a sense for me. Like you know you have to touch like the minors when you have so many beautiful women, especially Medellin. Like Medellin is a land of beautiful women, so I don't I don't see the reason why they had to do you know this stuff like that. And they also you know I've been you know things are getting twisted because this type of shit. Like you know they've been using all these Airbnbs to do this type of stuff. That's the, the reason what the mayor is saying, like, they won't allow we Medellin, like, show Reynolds over there because this type of bullshit. Then I know some people, like, you know, they might need the Airbnb to stay longer, all of that, and they are know, you know, this type of game, none of that, and they would be the one affected now, so they just not affecting just themselves. Well, at the end of the day, they affect more themselves. But they've been affecting, you know, all these minors, they've been affecting the whole, the whole gringo community. The whole American community, like, you know, is, is, is creating, like, bad reputation. It's like the reputation that we had in Colombia with drugs, you know, and stuff like that. Like, even, you know, Pablo, death long time ago. But, you know, this is a, 
this is something old. This is a business that, you know, that probably, you know, would be difficult to end in Colombia. I don't want to talk about that, but, you know, it's a reputation. Like, reputation is something, like, people really had to take care. Like, people really had to care about that. And now, you know, it's sad because, you know, like, they going to prison, but, you know, they had to be, they had to pay for what they did. You know, if we, um, they capture some a Colombian that did something to America, you know, like this girl that they captured today, he's gonna be there like for 21 years old. So, so for um, he's only 18, she's only 18 years old, and then he's gonna be there like for maybe for 20, 21 years. So, same thing, you know, they did something they had to pay for. It's the same thing, you know, and fellas, hey, never man, like never, never team, don't don't even team twice. Don't even think twice because I mean honestly, honestly like like when the girl is like eighteen years old when when she's eighteen years old in Colombia, that's not an issue. But the thing is like when the family don't know that could be an issue for you because I know people you know know myself I know people you know that they are in a relationship with a girl so like they twenty five. 27 day in relationship with the girls that are 18 but what happened is like communication is everything so for the family know every, a lot of people know that shouldn't be a problem for you but the problem is like when the family don't know and you talking to them you kicking with them and then like hey first thing that we tell you hey why you didn't tell me what's going on here so the family even can set you up because they don't know what's going on. You never told them, especially if you are a green girl, you can't even speak Spanish. And the family will be like, what's up here? I mean, the, the teenager would be the, um, disappear, you know, she disappeared like a few times in the week. They don't know where she is. So, you know, it's a lot of things coming to the mind. So it's a lot, it's a lot going out for us saying, hey, you know, that's all I want to bring to you guys. And again, bro, again, fellas, hey, again, there is a lot of beautiful women in Colombia that we focus in these teenagers, you know, these young girls, stuff like that, because that's how you can end. And they too old for that. They too old to be in jail. Like, you're supposed to relax when you get into that age. When you get into 50 or something, all you got to bring to your life is peace. So why you don't have to do, why you don't have to bring peace to your life? Because now they don't have peace on you. They won't have peace over there because they will be all the prisoners, you know, and soon they're going to hit them, you know, that's a, that's the first thing they're going to do. And the prisons here, I know like in the States, like in Europe, like, you know, like you also, you have like your own bed and stuff like that. No, don't forget about that. They don't even have AC. They have like this, like in police station, listen, in the police station, they will have like, man, they will have like hundred prisoners. In the police station, like a small team, police station, do we have like a hundred prisoners, like people they gotta sleep like 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 if they if they get up, like they gonna kiss the roof. Cause they gotta sleep, they gotta find somewhere to put the hammock or something. Like, hey, this is prisons here in Colombia, you know, they like is they fucking bad, like hey, they fucking bad. And then like the roof sometimes is not accommodated, like I say. And like I was saying, like, it's not like you had your own bed and stuff like that. No, actually, you know, when you go to the prison, because my uncle, he was in prison, so he told me that. Like, when you go to the prison, like, you don't have a bed. You have to push the bed. And plus, if you want to call somebody, you have to, of course, you know, you have to pay for that. And then, like, um, they made you get up early every day. They made you get up early. Like, you never, you never be, would be able, like, to get get up like lay your stuff like that then may you get um uh, get up early and um this is the situation guys this is the situation with the column with the <laughs> with the uh Colombian shields all of that so like I said they don't have an AC it's gonna be like everybody and their mom in the room all of that like they got like, just one toilet one toilet like for hundred person or one toilet one toilet so you know they gotta be ready for that it's not hot water it's not hot water, definitely cold showers. So they got to get used to that. So they will put yourself in a situation like that. Fellas, don't think like I'm laughing about these guys because, you know, I also feel sad. But, you know, at the end of the day, what you're doing life is what you get. So, you know, they, they had to pay for what they did, fellas. So, so hey, hey, I'm going to let you go now because, you know, I think like, you know, I'm taking a little bit, uh, taking so long. So 
I was supposed to say, you know, goodbye already. But yeah, for like, you know, hey, this is the all the history for us. I wanted to bring to you guys. I hope you guys like my video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Hey, again, if I made some mistake, you know, in front of the screen, I apologize, y'all. But you know, I apologize. I, I say, you know, apologize to y'all because uh, for y'all because you know like this is new for me but i'm trying to do my best you know to bring you guys updates you know info about my country so i'm trying to just do my best guys so hey thank you so much same for everything for the one that always showed me love thanks for the one that you know been supporting me every day thanks to the haters too you know like uh it's, it's, it's you know when you getting you doing good things you know uh, you're gonna get haters, you know, that's 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 not a problem fella So hey, if you any day any time any moment you guys coming to Cartagena, Colombia Don't forget to hit me up. I own a tour company. We offer tools like Mubucano, Palenque, Private Village, Jazz Anything, you know, we take you to the club. We take you to a restaurant, you know, to all around the city The real experience, you know, all of that also, you know, I will drop up my paper information if it's a way. If somebody want to show me some love, go ahead. But I'm not begging for money. I'm good. I make good, decent money to live in Colombia. So, you know, I'm good. I'm good on that, fellas, you know. So, hey, thank you so much, guys. See you soon. See you next time. This is Carlos the Colombian guy. Boom.